everybody, this is Praxis, and Josh and I are back on site today. Josh is doing some stomping back over here on the floor, trying to compress it. I know that he's been waiting excitedly to get back to this for a while, because that's, that's awesome work for hours and hours doing that. Uh, I, but it's really necessary, it's gonna keep the floor from you know settling and being balanced later and everything. So he's able to do that, whereas he was not able to do that in the past couple of weeks because the floor had actually frozen up. Now it's finally thawed because we have the windows on, we have the doors on, and even when it's cloudy outside and 10 degrees, it's maintaining like 34 degrees in here. When the sun comes out, we get up to like mid 40s or so, uh, and that brings me to kind of the topic I wanted to talk about in this video today, which is why when the sun comes out, we only get up to like mid 40 degrees. And as you can see behind you, the windows are open. We've opened up the windows because today it's not 10 degrees out, it's 50 degrees out. And we want to let in a lot of that warm air. We're going to capture it in here and uh, you know just get a lot of that heat in here to try to start storing it in the slab. The goal right now is to get this place warm enough so that we can pour a slab of concrete in here and you need it to be about 50 degrees in order to do that safely. As we were opening the windows, I noticed this and I want to illustrate it for you guys. As you can see, if you look at the snow out through this area, it's very bright. As you look through one pane of glass, it gets a little dimmer. And then when you have two panes of glass, and by panes of glass, I mean these actual windows. These windows are triple pane windows. Uh, when you have two windows layered up on top of each other, you can see it's really diminished in terms of how much light is coming through there. These windows uh, are wonderful, being triple pane. Uh, it's very humid in here, and even when it's super cold outside, we haven't had condensation on the windows. They're working really, really well, whereas the glass on the doors over here uh, has been sweating when it's been cold outside. So these triple pane windows are working really well in that respect. But one respect that I hate about them is the fact that you see right here that there's a dim shading going on. These are essentially sunglasses that are being put on the front face, the south facing side of my solar house. It wanted to be a solar house, but I was forced to use these windows. And the reason for these windows, uh, having that kind of uh, shading in there, is because they're trying to keep sunlight from coming into the house and heating it which kind of seems a little bit crazy if you're trying to build a solar house. So why was I forced to, to use these windows when you know other windows would have let, let a lot of sun, uh, sunlight in? Well, uh, the Environmental Protection Department, whatever, for the it's state. EPA. Yeah, it's not, it's not the EPA, though, because that's federal. I don't know what it is for the state, but um, what, whatever it is for the state, the, the department that's in, in charge of trying to protect the earth and you know have less pollution and everything, uh, mandated that I had to put these windows in and if you think about it in a really upside down and backwards sort of crazy way like let's go into crazy world for a while they really make a lot of sense and the reason that I was forced to use these windows that don't allow me to accept any of that solar heat or not very much of the solar heat from the sun is because in this their, their fear is in the summertime uh, you're gonna have these windows in and it's a hot sunny day outside the sun's going to come in through the windows, despite the fact that in the summertime the sun is at a really high angle, and if you put awnings over each of all the windows, you'd completely shade them. So they're presuming you don't know what an awning is, and you have no ability to install an awning, and they're also assuming that you wouldn't know how to open your windows. Uh, the idea is that they'll let in all this solar heat, it's going to heat up your house, you'll forget how to open your windows, and you're going to run out to the store and you're going to buy the crappiest air conditioner that you can possibly find, and you're going to be running it to try to cool down your house from all this free solar heat that's coming through your windows because you forgot to open them and you don't know what an awning is, and this is going to be a really polluting air conditioner and it's going to destroy the earth. So uh, the solution to that was that even if you're building a solar house, you need to put in windows on the south facing side of your house that prevent you from getting all that free, green, environmentally friendly, zero polluting sunlight. The reason that I mention that, and by the way, the reason I just had that transition there is because the camera I'm recording on only lets me run for five minutes and I guess I was blabbing for too long. But anyway, the reason that I mention that is things aren't always going to be perfect for you. You have to uh, accept that sometimes you're going to have to do things that maybe you don't want to do or do things in a way that you don't necessarily want to do. Building codes, they have pros and they have cons. You know, they're not all bad. You know, this is, this is a bad code. This is a bad rule because it's preventing a house from getting completely green, zero carbon emission energy in an effort to try to reduce carbon emissions. That's, that's a bad rule, but there are lots of good rules. Like if you're buying a house and you didn't build it yourself, it might 
make you feel good to know that they're building codes so you know that when you walk over the floor, there was a code that said that you, people should put a certain number of nails or screws in the floor so you're not gonna fall through it. So there are pros, there are cons. Hopefully our society is still gonna keep working things out and improving them. You know, you, you don't wanna throw out the entire thing just because there are aspects of it that are horrible. Um, but today we're focusing on the horrible aspects and the fact that if you do a building project, you have to expect there's gonna be some of those, you gotta deal with them and you just do the best you can with them. That's it. Thanks for watching.